and ended up getting a first down that sealed the win. Play action pass and a drop ball. At the They'll hand it off to Brooks on second down. Oh, he gets tattooed at the third. Did in an unfortunate capacity with his team winning. Here's a pass out in space to true freshman Mario Williams, but it's well def too much this season. Williams, everybody covered again. Now a receiver comes wide open. It's Drake Stoops out to the 40-yard line. So on second down and four, get a flag offside, taking the shot here, and thrown out of bounds. Another flag is thrown. Home in Red Raider territory for the first time today. And it's play action for Williams. Setting up and throwing deep. Overshooting the intended receiver. Had a bad day, it was against Texas. They gave up 70, although wasn't entirely by the defense. Coming across the middle is Hazelwood with some running room inside the 25 and dropped at the 20. The best offense in college football right now. Williams play action in trouble again and shows off that arm talent. A strike to Mims on the OU 39 leading 14 to 7. A rare run play here in the first half and Brooks does not get much maybe two on the ground on six attempts here second and eight play fake for Williams and the pass behind the receiver almost get out or something later or is it not even Twitter worthy if you're nice third you're nice third down and eight and wide open Mario Williams a flag down there might be a pick might be offense this game with Jaden with Jaden Hazelwood freeze it right there guys right here. Yep. As you see Mario Williams work his way back, it's behind the line of scrimmage. No foul. Good, Good job by the. So first down in Texas Tech territory. Play action again for Williams. And throwing deep. Got a receiver. The pass is on target again to Mario Williams. Confirmed that it was a catch via replay. Didn't take very long. And now Williams keeps it here on first down. Bottled up after a short game. They already have a touchdown drive where they began at the five. Williams in trouble, gets out of there again, throwing on the run, and it's caught for a touchdown by Brand. Initially, Jalen Hutchings going to get right past Andrew Rain, pressure right in the face of Caleb Williams. Freeze it there, guys. No panic whatsoever. Eyes now of these defenders, all right there on Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams eyes down the field. Braden Willis finds that soft spot in the corner of the end zone. Quarterback locates the open. It was the most competitive week of practice they've had all year. From the 17 yard line, here's Kennedy Brooks breaking a tackle and then push back at the 12 yard line. Kevin and Boog will have the highlights of that coming up. Meanwhile, second down and five for Caleb Williams and a diving catch for a touchdown. They ended up getting out of the half without surrendering any points and they have a three touchdown lead. Long throw to Mims here and Mims runs through a defender to get the first down. Not that they're not playing hard, but we haven't seen it turn into production. Here's Hazelwood. He stopped at the 45 territory again. And they're going to run it here. Ooh, Eric Gray tackled up high at the 36 or 7, Tom. No yep. question. Williams on second down. Hitches, waits, takes off. Now throws. And throws it out of bounds, which looks like it's about to go to 17. They lead 31-7. Play action here. Williams setting up, going downtown. Mims is there. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Pass today for Caleb Williams. Hard play action pass. It freezes that center safety, Monroe. And the deep post. in garbage time coming in with the second team. Kennedy Brooks running the ball to the right. And forward progress stopped after a gain of four. It's fired on Monday, despite his team being five and three. Here's a dump off pass to Jeremiah Hall for a first down. So let's dive a little bit deeper because we did. It's terrible. It's disturbing. You, you hear, you preach all the time about team, team, team. Players don't quit. Don't give up on a season. Don't give up on your team. And, and what's happening? Difficult enough profession. And, you know, listen, this is a, a program in Texas Tech. Imagine being Matt Wells. There's Mario Williams inside the 25. Go ahead and finish your point time. Just imagine being Matt. It's got to ultimately be about the players. And, and you want your players as they hand it off here to Brooks. And he gets to the 20 yard line and down to about the 17. It's Kansas in the first half. They put up 35 points in the second half there. 38 today. Looking for more. Here's Gray. Makes a defender miss. 
And brought down inside the 10. Four point lead. Gets a 9 0 in the season. Williams in trouble here. Eludes pressure again. Throws a strike for a touchdown. For Spencer. Marcus Major in the game at running back, and they're just going to keep it on the ground here with the big lead. And maybe these last three games of the regular season. Rattler will throw, and it's completion. Brian Darby with a first down. Very much the top of the Heisman conversation with a big stage tonight. Ooh. Nice run here by Major. Nice. And turning the group to we've accustomed to see under Bill Beatenbow. Rattler throwing a deep ball here. Got single coverage downfield. And it's caught by Darby for a touchdown. Season number three with a 13 and 17 record. And Sonny Cumby, the interim coach for the rest of the season. Major with a gain of eight. Was that lightning in a bottle with Mike Leach there in Lubbock, or can they get back to that same level? Having winning seasons every year, going bowling every year, it's a fit job. And somebody who embodies the same values, uh, much like a lot of different jobs around the country are, but maybe even oh, Texas yeah. Tech more so than others is. Carter's out there in defense. Final minute here in Norman. Spencer Rattler coming in. Here late in the fourth quarter, does have a touchdown pass as Major gets the first down. Then he fumbles the ball out of bounds. Watered. It's going to be a race to get to Arlington once again this season. It sets up for what should be a highly competitive month of November.